Welcome back to Kingdoms and Castles. We, <laughs> we are here. But we are also here under this giant cloud, which is producing some amazing shade, apparently. But welcome back. Now, in the last video, once again, we have had amazing response from you guys saying, Baron, we want Kingdoms and Castles to be a series. We want it to remain a series because this right here would make it episode three. Now, in the last video, I also got a lot of tips. William View, William Vo, was saying that we need, a, like, if we want to sell anything in the dock, we actually have to have stuff in the dock. That would explain why we weren't able to sell anything. We have a lot of extra stone here in the bottom left, so we're going to need to find a way to transport that. And I think I've got the solution. We've got a new thing called a transport cart. So I think I can put it anywhere, and then I just, like, ma manually, like, click here and then go over here. So that's gonna be the idea here. We are gonna get rich literally selling rocks. <laughs> it's brilliant. Also, Junha Kim was saying that if you keep assigning and unassigning archers, they won't be able to train themselves and become grandmasters. And grandmasters are apparently pretty OP. So in order to get that, we need to like really, really increase the number of houses we have. I think we're doing pretty good on food, but I can never figure this out. Why grain is always at zero. But if you look at health, it's excellent and building integrity is at 100 which is funny that that's a statistic so one of the things i wanted to do was start planning the future town right like i wanted to center it around a town square because this well i've got a little one right here and so for 50 gold and 50 gold only you can greatly increase the happiness in the area and like they've got these radius right so like by putting a church here it covers a huge area we can have like the town center and then all the houses around it but before we do that let's just like get as many people over here and use the existing infrastructure i think that's like the long-term goal other than well obviously since we've got ai empires invading our neighbors and colonizing these two unoccupied island chains well that's an island chain and over here it's like what does this look like it kind of looks like a snail snail island for an envoy en route Okay, so do we have the gold to do this? Not just yet. All right, so in order to sell to the merchant, wait, we have to, oh, <laughs> that's funny. The I have to literally create the cart uh, and maybe even the horse. I have 88 builders. Oh, look, the foreign envoys in route, will they come through my seagate? Oh, look at that. Oh, that's awesome. They have a present for me. Okay, that's good. I like presents. So this is why you want like good, yes, go on, greetings. We're thinking of you recently. So we gave you seven grain. Wow, this is actually really good because of the number of like things that I can sell. What is this red stuff? I actually don't know what that is. And then they like, they get happy that they gave you a gift. I don't even have to give them gifts. It's fantastic. Okay, so the cart looks like it is, there we go. Okay, so how does this work? We come here and desired. Okay, it's currently, oh, I see how this is done. Okay, I don't want to use that one. I only want one. All right, so we essentially drag this. So from this stockpile to here, that should do it. So I, I want 50 stone, Ah, uh, I think. This is gonna be interesting. This is like a totally new concept. All right, where is he? Now, I didn't tell him to pick up anything. Oh, look, here's our little piggy farms that we made. These are a new building in this Kingdoms and Castles build. Okay. Oh, what's this? Merchants. Oh, see, this is why we want to do it. There's a merchant coming and I, I've br I basically got like no gold. You're supposed to be picking up stone. Okay. Pick up. Doc Benoit, Doc Benoit, small stockpile. Pick up. Aha. Let's pick up 10. There we go. We'll pick up stone from here. What's his, like how many can he carry? All right. Load the stone up. Oh, <gasps> it's working. And it looks like he can fit more, so let's actually bump that to 20. I like this. I like the new infrastructure stuff. Okay, merchant's here. Does he have any special items? It doesn't look like it today. Yeah, so right now, I can only sell what's on that stockpile. This makes a lot of sense. I mean, I, I'm not... I don't know why I missed it before. And it looks like there's another ship here. Are there two merchant ships? One of them stuck or trying to procreate and make more boats. Both are possible. All right, so now when we go to sell, I can sell 16 of this. Oh man, we're gonna get rich now. All because we have carts. Okay, I, I really, really like that. So now I have a much better idea on how to do that. And carts only cost 25 gold and 25 wood. Yeah, these boats are doing something. Oh, they're leaving. Okay, but look at this. We got like 98. That's fantastic. Okay. Yeah, we got a lot more people, but we still have no idle P 
people at all. Oh yeah, is our library producing evidence? We, we stuck a little library way deep down in here. That's gotta, I wanna, okay. What are they missing? They're not missing anything. Being taxed, happiness and home. Health and home is high. Gotta find more ways to increase that happiness. Or maybe it's just in a medieval, the medieval world, you can never have more. Oh God, okay. The Vikings are gonna attack in one year. We have archer towers pretty well spread out. Say the weakest area of town is like this side right here. Ooh, another merchant ship. Oh, hey, put that fire out. Good job, guys. Yeah, see all the grain is going in. I don't see it turned into bread or anything like that. Vikings, oh, biscuits. Okay, check this out. There's like all these ships over here. Oh, they're bringing the cave trolls and the catapults now. This is the Viking D-Day invasions, man. Okay, so. Oh, this guy's gonna land here. Are these archers in place? Yeah, they've got two people in it right now. Or are they queuing up? Do you see any arrows over someone's- Oh, here they are! Hurry! <laughs> I called them a little bit late. Where are your guys? Oh, your guys are right here. Okay, that's good. So we'll at least get here. Wait, are you sending a, an army to help me out? Oh, here come the Vikings, man. We're gonna have more people to fill in the cemetery. That's for dang sure. Oh, they sent two battalions. Yeah, I need I need a portcullis. I need gates and drawbridges here. They really like to land on this island because it's not very well guarded, to be quite frank. But we defended that. We have a message from our ruler. I have a secret I'll share with you, but you must promise not to tell anyone. Okay. Sometimes I sneak out of the castle dressed as a commoner. <laughs> Then I visit one of our taverns for a drink. Oh, that's funny. How dangerous. I hope you're careful. Well, of course I am. Great. Nice talking to you. Yeah, I like how like she has the time to send like envoys just to tell her, tell stories to us, like while we're while we have to deal with Viking invasions. Now the question is, who's gonna get the cave troll in the catapult? Because it looks like we didn't have to deal with that. Maybe this northern empire is gonna have to deal with that. And it's funny like how small their empire is because I put the most aggressive AI on the smallest island. <laughs> and I took the biggest one for myself. Uh-oh, but our friend here is gonna deal with three invasions. You know what we could do? Is I actually wanna see what's going on over here. I wanna see what they've if they've developed this side of the island yet. Cause I was told that the AI is well ahead of us and it sure doesn't seem like it. Whoa, plus 10 because of the Vikings were destroyed in the recent invasion. We've just got so much area to build. Hmm. We have too much stores up to a hundred pork in a butchery. A butchery? Well, we'll make another one of those. We will store more pork. And I think one of the things we need actually is a market. We can make a jousting arena. That is cool. I do like that. We'll put a small market in over here. And I'm gonna put it right in the middle, like right behind the brewery and in front of the uh, library. <laughs> To get to this library, you really gotta work hard, but uh, <laughs> happiness is nine in this radius. So that's nice. You don't really need access to it. <laughs> Plague virulence is low. Oh yeah, we're gonna need like hospitals. I think I have. All right, all of us defended the Viking invasion pretty easily. It looks like the troll got on here and it, he has a hundred gold. He made off with a hundred gold. So they were pretty well routed over here. Okay. Oh, they're definitely increasing their agriculture. If the Vikings come from the south and we build a fortress here and here, or maybe covering the entire island. But look at this, okay. So one of the things we can do is build drawbridges, right? That would be pretty cool. I think we definitely need one here and we'll put a tower. Okay, do we have stone here? Yeah, we have 45, okay, great. What else could we sell? Charcoal, we don't have a lot of it though. Whoa, this is how big a jousting arena is. <laughs> Too close to a wolf den. A dragon's been sighted. Is it a big one? Nope, it's still a little one. Oh, they built the baths. Yeah, these guys are ahead of me, at least in terms of like how nice it is to live on their place. If our people knew, man, they would be leaving. I mean, I, I would definitely vacation over here at the very least. <laughs> the dragon's attacking their town. Oh, napalm strike, man. Yeah, they don't have any ballistas. Oh, now he's gonna burn the farms. Dude, I'm glad we got to saw see that. That was actually worked out very, very well. Although he's deciding to come visit us. All right, merchant. Aha, see, special items. Cost is 350, improved brick ovens, increase the speed at which bakers can make bread. Oh my God, that is so huge. Can we sell? What can I sell? Sell everything I can. Oh, that might just get us there. How much pork do I have? Oh, I have so much pork. Yes, complete the sale. Purchase the special item. Yes, okay, that's great. Okay, so one of the things we did was we made a drawbridge here and we put a tower on it. It'd be really cool to see dragons like blow up boats. Yeah, we're not producing a lot from 
bakeries. I would like to increase my bakeries. Got some bakers over there. All right, the queen's back. We have a message. Nope, can't help you. You can send me stuff whenever you want, though. And I hope my your opinion of me doesn't decrease. <laughs> Sucker. I mean, I, I, I'm trying to figure out how to run a kingdom here, guys. This is what you'd call above my pay grade. All right, so yeah, now that we have like better ovens, I wonder if we see that reflected here. Has no grain too far away or none available. That could explain why we have no grain. Demolished. This is where all the grain is, right? Yeah, the grain, the, the granary, the granary, but it's got no grain in. I don't know what's going on with that. I actually wonder like, is there a bug or am I doing it wrong? Actually, or is it there's a season to it? Okay, so we, we look at this now and all of this food goes in there. And I think what happens is by the end of the season, if you don't use it, it disappears, right? See, an apple store very easily in this produce storage area. That's actually like the uh, majority of my food reserves are actually... Okay, so this baker's done. Yeah, just 17 out of 45 for like two full far grid farms? Seems weird to me. Yeah, and then it goes away. Stored, ready to use, bread four per one and one bread is not my specialty but i mean we've got what one baker can i store more than 50 stone here has no tools now we'll clear out these wolves sorry wolves i, I, I built a giant wooden tower this is what you call a strategy and as sun tzu said it's not a war crime if you're fighting wolves you know wolves don't live in switzerland and if they don't live in switzerland then they can't have a geneva convention if they can't have a geneva convention then there can't be any war crimes sun tzu said that he said all of that no i don't feel guilty about killing cute little wolves yes i do yeah i really gotta figure out how to freaking work bread oh my god i have so much stone where's all the stone being stored oh here holy Crap. All right, all the grain comes in. They can only store six at a time. Maybe I don't need more grain fields. I just need a lot more bakeries. I can never get enough. Iron is coming in decently well. It's just this guy right here. We need charcoal over here. Host a festival, increase happiness, bring in new people. We are a bustling city, my liege. A city of bustlers. All right, we can probably wreck all this. Clear the forests. Don't tell the ants. They will be very displeased with us. Oh, wow, yeah. Happiness is 96 because of these festivals. Heck yeah, boy. Look, they're little tents. Come see our trinkets. We have someone in here trying to say that the world, the earth revolves around the sun and not the sun revolves around the earth. <laughs> Let's burn them at the stake or something. Come on. We don't like science. <laughs> science is for nerds. How do you know he's a witch? Because he looks like one. All right, what we need is more stone storage. Where do you put it? Oh, we are running low on charcoal, aren't we? All right, there was the market. We have a small market in here. Can they knock it out? Oh, I actually did block them in. Hehehe, <laughs> whoops. All right, so what we'll do, we'll put, dude, this is, would be such a nice tavern to chill at. What sorcery is this? Everyone in this town is a witch. Oh, look at the drawbridge though. No, we're, we're upgrading to stone here. Oh, special items. All right, let's sell everything we can. Yes, monies, gold. We are in desperate need of iron tools. 10 out of 10 per year. That's just not enough iron. Oh, and you can only put two per node. Wait, we're gonna have to colonize a new island, aren't we? Aren't we? Do we have any more iron on this? This island the iron islands where are they this one is not good for iron this archipelago over here though could be good apparently it's not good oh yeah that, that'd be too hard to get to this guy right here like got plenty of stone all right where's our scout ship man i forgot how much i just adore this game tons of pork all right there we go now people can get out of there i guess i guess you can block stuff off and one of the things i think i'm gonna sneak in there because they they got to do it with the market but uh, that's about it i want to sneak in a well very well <laughs> located <laughs> oh for an envoy in route in route. Oh, they're right here with a merchant ship. And I wonder what they have in that ship. Can you guess? You must pay homage at the sea tower. Holy crap, that's dope. Let us make it the most glorious thing. I'm actually gonna wreck this. I don't I don't like where it is. I wanna move all of it and I wanna build forts. I want more forts. I love building forts. We need more tools, sir. Now that we're getting iron pumping in here, are we? We just use so much tools. Okay. Please give me tools. Remember when I said that I wouldn't help you? Greetings, we were thinking of you. You keep giving me weapons, but I want tools. Thank you. I'm, I'm very pleased with this, actually. Uh, I love free stuff. <laughs> Thanks, darling. 
But uh, yeah. Oh, and then here's all the goods just chilling right here. Put them in the stockpiles. So for whatever reason, maybe it's because it's the po the closest coastal point to your castle is where the merchant goes. Okay, now this is one of the things we wanted to do. We wanted to build a castle, but I actually need to wait till it's not winter so I can see where the arable farmland is. Oh, and that's about now. Okay, so arable farmland right there. So I'll put the castle. Where do I put it? I don't think there's no wolves, but there is the witch's hut. The witch is kind of creepy like i i forgot all about her but you kind of have to like do things to keep her happy or she might curse you and you don't want a witch's curse you know what i mean <laughs> oh look we have seven idle people finally this is a good thing i think to have idle people all right so you produce zero loaves of bread has no i you say there's no grain but like we're pumping it out okay i don't understand you apples were the thing that was keeping me going. Orchard Road. All right, our first colony. It's kind of tricky. I'll chop all these trees down, right? So I could build a town over there. I can't make up my mind. I just love these little islands. This one in particular. Unfortunately, I filled it with pigs, but we could eventually move all of this and create this like, I don't know what we'll do with it. We could put like all manner of cool things here. We could put a jousting arena on it. Yeah, because one of the things is we just wanted to pump out iron and send it home. We need homes, my lord. Congratulations, you've discovered a new land. Click here to name your island. Guys, what are we gonna name this island? Comments time. It's time to name it. All right, so we will need basic resources. Homes. Oh, we can... I can build cottages over here? Oh, yeah, I do have enough stone, I guess. And then we're gonna need food. It just needs to be self-sustaining enough. And then we will, uh, ship. They will eat apples and apples only. <laughs> Let's just say you don't want to live in the colonies right now. I mean, you barely even want to live in Toastopia right now. But we do have pigs, you know? All right, how are we doing? I think I'm just going to need... Crazy to think we've been doing this for like 73 in-game years. Oh, we need more happy people to have a festival. Bribe them with blissful glee and people wrestling bears. Yes, people love that. Oh, what is this? What, are these apples? Are they pigs? I can't t Yeah, they're apples. I'll buy all the charcoal you have, friend. Thanks. Now get out of here. Is that our fishing boat that sailed over here? Are you- We need to put a drawbridge in. I think the ship is broken. Another merchant. Look how much money I just made. Over- We now have a thousand gold. Oh, we're actually a thousand out of a thousand. <laughs> that actually is a bit of a problem because we need to put in another treasury room somewhere in a safe spot of town Where would it make sense to put it Vikings invasion? Oh great right there. Oh, we left the archers So hopefully and what do you have here? Oh, I was just touring our blacksmiths. Okay. We, we were just talking that that was about it Oh god Vikings are landing. We have no towers here. Yeah, that's gonna be bad for everybody on this side of town it's probably time to start constructing some sea barriers here. They're burning stuff. Stop burning my stuff. Oh, they actually got back on their ship. Probably need a fire brigade. I'm hoping this house doesn't burn down. Okay, we put out the fire. There's a fire there. We need to put that one out. Okay. Yeah, so they just landed right here. And there's two more ships, but they're probably going to my enemies. <gasps> no! We have no protection here, my lord. Yeah, okay. That's a problem. Oh my god, they're, they're, they're burning it down. Do we have a well? We don't even have a well. But they're going to the water. They might be able to push it out. Oh, God. All right. All right. We have a serious problem over here. There's not enough people. <laughs> but now we're going to start building the seawall. Where are they guys? Where are they taking the grain? To the houses? Piety Apprentice. He is taking it. Okay. Man, there's a lot of traffic on this side. This is definitely where we're going to want to put fortifications. Oh, more Vikings? Please don't land here. All right, we're building a pretty cool little defensive structure here to start protecting things. I'm feeling I'm going to uh, surround this one with wood, except for like one strong so stone fort. And look at this, man. This is coming together nicely. Oh. Someone's dead. Or are they just going to visit the cemetery? It's a long walk. It's definitely a long walk. <laughs> Wait a minute. You guys are trying to cross this area? Okay, we got to figure this out. We're going to demolish all that. A lot of resources magically floating. <laughs> now, could you have a double drawbridge? I think you could. All right, we're trying it out. It's a very little expensive project, but it is for science. Essentially, it's a sea gate, and right behind it, it's a twin drawbridge, so boats should be able to come through. Big boats. We'll see. <laughs> I like how when you look at this, like, someone can see out their window and, like, see into the ocean. So they got, like, a really nice view. Dragon sighted, still a little one. All right, so this is kind of cool. If it comes out right. All right, let's see. Can the boat come through? Pass through the sea gate? 
And the drawbridges. Where are you going? Oh no. <laughs> you can pass through that little area. Yes. Yes. Oh, that was cool. We will buy nine apples. Why not? Man, we are running low on stone. Oh, doesn't it look beautiful like this? So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to have one seagate here and then one seagate here. And so this wall will like work very well there. Now, I'm not sure what we're going to do with this side just yet. We'll figure it out when we get there because I can't put a seagate across this like deep water. Oh, I'm liking this a lot. This is a good looking castle. Seagates are super expensive. Oh, it's a beautiful city. Oh, a gift. They never send me tools. They send me all the other stuff. Okay. Beggars can't be choosers though, right? Sun Tzu said that. <laughs> I don't think he did. Oh, wow, look. Now they're docking over here. Interesting. Oh, you know what we need to do is take off armaments. Should have done that a while ago. Just to make sure we're pumping out tools. And here's our little colony. It's not doing too bad actually we will need stone i'd rather be able to build a dock but we need like five stone for that and stone's like way over here all right this is gonna be the industrial area we're gonna ship iron from here all the way to here well we built the twin sea gates over here we've definitely fortified this place we've colonized a new island and we're about to get the docks up and running and some more iron mines so that we can really get this colony pumping. But I think right now we are in a fantastic place. We do have a big question though. What do we name this island? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching another episode of Kingdom and Castles. Push the trigger on the like button if you do want to see more. And I'll see you in the next one. What does this guy have to say? Do we have a message from our ruler? Oh, yeah, I, I can't. I can't do that. And I, and I, and I won't. Sorry. Goodbye. <laughs>